Hey everyone, my name is Kat. Today I've got my first official Australia haul for you. I bought a couple of things and I want to share those with you because it is exciting for me. I suppose it could be kind of exciting for you to see what I'm buying here. Um, I did bring a lot of stuff. If you're interested in what I brought clothes wise or makeup wise from Germany with me to Australia, I'll leave a comment down below and I think about a video idea there. Alright, let's jump right in. I'm thinking clothes first or the other stuff. Mm, I think I'll go ahead with my face care and um, shower supplies and all that good stuff. First off is my Simple Moisturizer. I bought that a couple of days ago, so this is my latest purchase. Uh, I needed a rich moisturizer, which this is, but compared to other rich moisturizers, this sinks into your skin really, really nicely. It doesn't sit on there for a very long time, so you can apply makeup fairly quickly after you applied your moisturizer, which is nice. With other moisturizers, I've had the experience that makeup then moves around on your skin, and that's not really desirable. So this one works out pretty well for me. I've had a couple of dry spots on my skin that got flaky, and they seem to be taken care of with this, so really happy with that purchase. Uh, do recommend. Another moisturizer purchase is the Aveeno moisturizer. This is, is, is called a Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. This, compared to the simple one, has uh, an SPF in it, and that's 15, which here in Australia is vile. So I really love it for the fact that it has an SPF and that it really does have a radiant look. Um, when you apply it, it is not the most riches and nourishing moisturizer I've ever used, but I guess therefore I have this and then I have the other one, maybe for summer where I don't need as rich of a moisturizer. Next up, and this already is my second bottle because I have been here for about two and a half months now. Um, this is the Garnier 2-in-1 Express Makeup Remover for waterproof makeup because I am using waterproof mascara only this one mainly and this one as well I did buy I thought I'd, I brought a second one from Germany because I know they're expensive here but for some reason I can't find it so I had to buy a new one this was $20 um, so quite expensive let's say I would probably say this is like 15 14 euros comparably um, but this one does take care of my waterproof mascara pretty well. Um, if you've got any recommendations concerning a waterproof makeup remover, please let me know. I do like this, I don't really mind using it, but if there is a better version, obviously, I would like to try that one out. Then, also makeup related, I tried the Real Techniques Brush Cleansing Gel. Um, before in Germany, I used like a solid um, shampoo where you just swirled your, like you added some water, swirled your brush in. Um, with this one, I really need to figure out how to use it properly because it's so different from what I've used before. Um, I think this was quite expensive. It is a fairly big bottle, it's 150 ml, so it should last me a while. Um, what's the smell like? The smell is alright. A little fruity actually. It just takes up so much time opening this up again, putting it like either on my hand or somewhere else or on the brush and then swirling it around and then going back in with the new brush doing the same thing. With the other one I could just go and swirl and with this one I have to pick it up and squeeze it. So this is kind of a hassle right now. I need to find something different. If you've got a tip for me there, let me know. I'll really appreciate that. Um, on the same note, I just bought this and haven't tried it out yet. This is from Sports Girl. I suppose you go in with your two fingers um, and then you have this rough surface here with the ridges and like little knobs in the front um, where you can just swirl your brush around on and um, it should take care of a lot of uh, the makeup residues in there. And I don't have to swirl it around on my hand anymore because my hands were really, really dry after I cleansed my brushes and I didn't want that. So I got this and I'll I'll work out how this works and if, if this is any good. But this I got from Sports Girl. I think it was like four or five dollars, so not too bad. Then for my hair, because I like using dry shampoo every now and again, um, especially when, I don't know, I've showered the day before and hair still looks all right, I just need a little top chop. I like to use dry shampoo. Now, 
This smells all right. Um, it is a little whitish, uh, which does go away when you either brush or blow dry your hair after. It does definitely does the job. Um, I would like to try another one. I don't know if actually Tony and Guy has one. I would love to try that one because I really love the smell of the Tony and Guy's um, pro hair product series. And then for the shower feeling, oh, this just dripped on me. Duh. This is the Rituals Yogi Flow. What is it? It's just shower gel. It's a shower gel. Um, I got this because this is my most favorite smell in the world. Uh, and it was reduced, so there was like a sale going on and this was like a special thing um, and instead of I think $10 or something, you got it for $8, I believe. And Nate got another one as well, I might just quickly hop and go and get it. Alright, so, alright, alright, alright. So Nate got this one, uh, this is like a samurai, what's it called? Samurai Yutsu Shower. This is the best smell in this world. It's like citrusy, uh, but so nice. I don't even know what's in there. Ancient Samurai, that's what it's called. Yeah. Uh, Mandarin and Yutsu. yutsu? What, what's Yutsu? I don't know. I do love both, but I do sneakily like to use some of his every now and again, just because it's so nice. Then I was at the reject store and as a bargain hunter as I am, I can't really walk past something like this, where it says $2 each. Um, this is a hair mask from Schwarzkopf. It's the Essence Ultime, and this is a color one. So specifically for colored hair, which I have um, same line, obviously, this one. Both were $2. This is a shine spray that you spritz in. Works all right, it's not like really high shine. And this one, I believe that this made a huge difference to my hair and made it look really shiny. I think it went pretty well with the change of um, water here because obviously the water is different. That probably isn't as hard as the one in Germany. So my hair obviously does look different, but I believe this played a huge role in making my hair look as shiny as it is right now. All right, so that's pretty much what I have for face and makeup and all the other beauty stuff. I think let's continue with some uh, clothes and accessories because these tell me that these aren't the cutest, nicest little earrings you've seen, oh God, how? In a long time. So these are the ones that have like a ball behind your ear. So you would basically wear it like this with a stud in the front and then you have a thing dangling <laughs> at the back of your ear. And I always wanted like this kind of earring, but they always were like pearl or something. And I'm not really that pearl kind of girl. Plus they were kind of expensive. So when I saw these, I was like, yay, these are mine. And they look so cool here. They have the best design ever. Um, at first I was like, oh, I don't know if I like the, the crystal in the front here, but it works out perfectly. Then in Australian fashion, <laughs> you gotta have a pair of thongs. These are called thongs in Australia. Um, not flip-flops, well you can call them flip-flops, but they are officially called thongs. Um, these are rib curl ones, black with like a really interesting like woven pattern and then the rose gold name or brand tag on there. I haven't really worn them out yet because the weather is just not as warm. But I think on Sunday there's going to be 28 degrees and if we go for a swim, I'll definitely take these and wear them out. Then, because H&M is finally in Australia, and I think it has been for like a year or two now, and that made the decision to move to Australia a little easier. Um, I did go and buy um, just a few basics. Uh, this is a t-shirt with cuffed um, arms, and it's the same one as the red one I'm wearing right now. So it has these cuffed arms, um, really, really basic, and then the nice pattern with like, what's it called? I don't even know. Uh, and I also have the same one, so this is the same st same style, cuffed arms uh, in black. So I've got the burgundy, light grey and a dark grey black colour. And then also from H&M, I got this amazing jacket. It's like a bomber blouson jacket. The only thing, and I hate this, 
it came loose, the thread here came loose and I don't really know what to do. I wanted to return it but now I think it's too late. Um, H&M is quite a while away so um, I would have take, I would have had to take a minute. Oh, I just saw that here, one more came loose. Can you see that? Ah, oh, what a shame. I uh, really like this jacket. I hope I can fix it somehow myself. Uh, I don't know. I'm a little bummed right now seeing that even more threads came loose. I love the color, but it does not seem to hold up really well, so it's not really worth the money anyway. Well, let's see. Maybe I can fix it a little bit. It does have a stain here. I've just realized there. Don't know what I did there. Um... Such a bummer. I'm really bummed right now. Mm. But, uh, and that's on a high note, I got this night jacket, like really fluffy, warm night jacket from Nate. He actually got that for me when I went to, when I moved to Australia. And just so I'm warm and cozy all the time. So such a nice little fluffy jacket for when we go to the beach and it's like really windy or in, in the evenings when it's getting a little cooler. Uh, and I did need to get, I did need some time to start wearing it. Do you know that with pieces that you don't know how to style, you just leave them for a little bit and then at some point you're like, you whip them out and you put them on and then you like immediately fall in love with them. That's what happened with me with this, this jacket. It's just so super nice and warm. Um, it is a little thick, but at the same time, it's not. Like, it's not a proper winter jacket, but it's super, super warm, uh, which I really like. And it does have, like, a hood in there. So, see, so you can drag it all out, and then it has, like, jackets on the inside, so I can put, like, a lot of stuff, even with the zipper. So that's really cool. Um, really, really nice of Nate to get me this. All right, I think that pretty much concludes the haul for now. If you're interested in more hauls from Australia with like new products, if you've got any tips for me as to what to try here, because they do have a lot of different brands compared to Germany or like the European market, definitely let me know. Always interested. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye.